I'm here with Dr. Richard Bevan Thomas, director of the USMD Cancer Center. Dr. Thomas, thank you for joining us today and helping to explain to our audience uh, the prostate uh, and uh, what could potentially go wrong with it. Uh, Glad to be here. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate so, it. So what is the prostate? What does it do? So the prostate is a small gland that is actually located just below the bladder. The prostate is unique to men, so women obviously don't have a prostate, but some have asked me that question before. And the prostate is in charge. It's a reproductive organ. So that when a man ejaculates, roughly about 90% of the ejaculate actually comes from the prostate itself. So it's very important, obviously, for reproduction. Uh, tell us a little bit about the anatomy and, and the structure of, of the prostate. Yeah, so right below the bladder is the prostate, and the prostate can be as small as a walnut. People have described the, the prostate being walnut-sized, and that's probably true for men in their 20s or 30s, but it can also be as big as, a, uh, as an orange, you know, sometimes. So, I mean, it can be very varied in size, and as a man gets older, that prostate will continue to increase in size. It doesn't necessarily correlate with the size of the prostate actually causing urinary symptoms, but again, so because you're urinating right through the middle of the prostate, that can block off the urinary channel. So urination-wise, it can affect it, as well as reproductive-wise. So with the prostate, the size matter? So it does. So as that bigger the prostate, there is a likely correlation that as the prostate increases in size, there is a more likely chance that that man is actually going to have a trouble, troubles actually urinating, and obviously, again, blocking off that flow. And that's when men actually start waking up in the middle of the night, they can't urinate as well, and they have a slow stream. What kind of tissue is inside the prostate? Is it muscle tissue? Is it gland tissue? Is it a combination of both? Great question. Yeah. So it's actually a gland. And so that gland actually produces that fluid. So again, when a man ejaculates. So it's not muscle tissue, but that gland, those glands actually all coalesce together and they basically squeeze out and that's where that fluid actually comes out right through the middle of that prostate. Again, right through the middle of that donut, so to speak. Uh, are hormones important in, to the prostate? So they are important. But so as a man gets older, what happens is, is that a man's testosterone will tend to decrease, but what happened is, is that that prostate will start to decrease from a number of different hormones that actually start increasing the growth of that prostate, which is why when we see men in their 70s and 80s, we start seeing they have more and more problems with urination. And that's a challenge, is, is that, you know, if you block off those hormones, can you decrease the growth of that prostate? And we can, but again, there's also side effects with that as well. Now, Many people think testosterone causes prostate cancer. Is there any truth to that? So there is no truth to that, and that's a fascinating question. Is that For years, what we did know is we knew that if we shut down the testosterone production in men, we knew that men with advanced prostate cancer, we could actually slow the growth rate of prostate cancer. Now, that was actually true, and this was actually down in the 1940s that we figured this out. So we sort of backtracked, and we said, well, okay, if that was the case, then it must very well be the case that if we give a man testosterone, that will cause that prostate cancer to grow, and that's actually false. And that's actually never been, there's no studies to, to prove that. What we do know is we know that there is a risk for men with actually lower testosterone and the, the potential that they may increase their risk of prostate cancer. So it's not like every man should be on testosterone, but I think we have to be very careful about not putting a man on testosterone because of their risk of developing prostate cancer because there's very limited data to support that theory. So if you maintain normal testosterone levels, will that protect you from prostate cancer? That's Since un, yeah. the group of men with lower testosterone levels are the ones that get prostate cancer. And that hasn't been proven yet. So if we can actually maintain a man with normal testosterone levels, will that decrease his risk? Well, again, a study that we discussed recently, and I sent you that paper, that looked at men actually with normal testosterone levels, there is the potential. Again, a small study, but we're looking at this more and more in the urology community, a smaller study, and we'll see more and more, that if we actually normalize those men's testosterone can we decrease the risk of prostate cancer? And I would posit to you that I think that there is a good chance that we will prove that we can potentially decrease those men's risk, but I think the data and, again, the studies need to be performed. So why is it the perception out there in the medical community that testosterone causes prostate cancer. I hear this every day. Right, so there's a lot of misconceived perceptions out there. Unfortunately, one of the perceptions is that prostate cancer is an indolent disease. Nobody dies of this disease, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. You know, I think it really started from the fact that, you know, with testosterone, and again, back in the 1940s, when we figured out that when we stopped testosterone, we could actually decrease the growth of those patients with advanced prostate cancer. And again, that sort of continued to progress in the fact that if we gave a man testosterone, we would substitute increases risk of prostate cancer. Again, very limited data to support that. But like many things in medicine, we really want to prove those before we start you know, espousing those to our patients. We need to take a quick break and we'll be right back.